What is up everybody? Welcome to Rev Time. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk about uh, an experience I had uh, at a festival. It was called uh, the Woodshed Experience and it was something that uh, Andy Wood had put on and of course he had all of these uh, titans of guitar uh, there. One in particular was uh, Joe Bonamassa and I was really interested to uh, sit in on one of his classes just briefly. I, I was there uh, representing uh, Rev Amps um, and I was lucky to be there and get to hear all these guys play. But as I said, I, uh, I sat in on a class with Joe Bonamassa and, and what he was focused on in that class was uh, getting tones and getting your sounds. And the way he approached it was he actually brought one of his prized Les Pauls, it was 59, and he brought a uh, Dumble Overdrive Special uh, Combo amp with him. And, and really, those two pieces cost probably, they're probably worth about a hundred grand more than my house is worth. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just amazing, you know, sounding rig and it literally just uh, a cable between the guitar and, uh, and the amp. So what Joe did to just kind of explain uh, his process was he sat down uh, with his Les Paul and the amp. It's a small room. There's maybe 20 of us in there. And uh, he just goes ahead and clicks the amp on and just starts cranking up a tone. And he, he gets, you know, the Joe Bonamassa sound in this little room. And it was just, you know, it was he gets exquisite tones. It was just killer. But when he stopped, Basically, what he said is, uh, is okay. I've uh, I've dialed up my sound using my guitar and my amplifier. So now any one of you should be able to sound just like Joe Bonamassa. Now he wasn't saying this in a way, you know, that that was all at all like condescending. Like you'll never play as good as me, and you'll never sound like me. He was just trying to make uh, a point, and that point was, you're going to sound like you. Um, your hands are going to sound like your hands. So what he would do is, he's, you know, after he said that, you know, you've got Joe Bonamassa's guitar, Joe Bonamassa's amp. Joe Bonamassa has just dialed in his sound. Come on up and, and play this guitar and you'll sound just like me. And um, a brave few souls uh, volunteered. And, and, and these are good players. These aren't guys that, that are not good players. These are solid cats, you know, so... They got up there and played and the tone was great, but it wasn't Joe's tone. It, now it was, they're playing Joe's guitar and amp, but they sound like them. All the way over to Andy Wood actually got up, who was a beast of a guitar player and, and did the same thing, plugged into Joe's you know, amp with Joe's guitar and he ended up sounding like Andy Wood. And I, I thought that was so cool because you know you, you always have to keep in mind and it's it's what I've always done is your hands sound like your hands and there's things you can do there's little minor adjustments that you can make but at the end of the day you want to be okay with sounding like you now there's characteristic tones and things you've heard and the input you've had throughout your life through players that you might uh, have listened to or, or really dug but at the end of the day your hands do sound like your hands but you know after he went through all of that what he went into was okay well then, then what is your sound and, and how do you arrive at that? Or maybe you're playing on a rig you're not familiar with and how do you get the sound in your head as close as uh, possible? So I'm gonna be a little bit more focused on that because this isn't really about achieving Joe, Ma you know, Joe Bonamassa's tone. Um, it's, it's more about uh, dialing in sounds and, and getting there making more adjustments really on the guitar. Get the amp, you know, as close as you can get it. Obviously there's controls on the amp, but at the end of the day, you can you can change the way you play a little bit. You can change the way you dial the guitar and get a lot closer to achieving uh, your sound. So like right now, this tone. <laughs> So 
So we're listening to the G20. I'm in the blue aggression mode. The wide switch is on. And the way I've got it dialed right now, for me, I would probably, I think I would actually roll the lows off just a little bit. Not so much to have less low end, but to bring out a little bit more mid. So now I've got a little bit more mid on my single notes. Gain-wise, we're pretty much there. I could add a maybe just a little bit more. <laughs> Treble-wise, it's still maybe a little bit bright. It's not ice picky, but it's it's a little bright. But I, I want to leave the treble set there and start looking at how I have the guitar dialed. So the guitar right now is obviously wide open on the bridge position pickup. <laughs> And the only thing I would intuitively do like right away is reach for that tone control. And let's back it off to about seven. That sounds pretty nice. I mean, I might roll it back up if I'm playing uh, chords. But then I could just roll it right back down. To get that uh, toothiness off of there. So that sounds a little bit uh, softer now, obviously, in a you know, I'm playing by myself right now. I might have to roll that right back up in a band context, but just getting a sound to sit and play. And by the way, this is the direct out. Uh, it's a four by 12 cab Royer 57 combo I always use. So I've got the tone rolled back up, but there's another thing, you know, that, that Joe actually talked about that I didn't think about as much. And that's actually taking advantage of your volume control. Now there's treble bleed circuits and all that kind of stuff, but your volume control will still have an effect on your treble almost no matter what. Um, and in this case, what if I just roll my volume down just a little bit? There's not much like less gain there. But that almost sounds better to me than rolling off uh, the tone. It's actually got a little bit kind of softer feel. So that's all the way up. Roll it down to about. That's about, I would say, eight. So that sounds really cool to me. So that's me kind of getting my sound. Like that's a. That's a solo sound I could be pretty happy with. After getting the amp to a point setting wise, now it's, it's all on the guitar. And what's great about this too, is it, it allows me to not worry about reaching for the amp necessarily. If I'm on the fly and I want to bump, I can just roll the volume up. So now I've got a little bit more control over my tone without reaching for the amp. And at the same time, I don't have to, you know, necessarily turn on another, you know, stomp box. But even with that being said, like, let's say this tone is cool. What a lot of guys will do, and, and Joe Bonamassa will use things like, uh, you know, Klons. There's a way huge, I think it's called the uh, overrated special, but they don't really add a lot of gain uh, to the signal. He's using it more as just a push, uh, kind of just an oomph box. Yeah. 
So we could do that with the uh, the G2. Um, I'll go ahead and just roll the tone or the volume back up on the guitar. So we're all the way back up. If I wanted just a little bit more, and I'll, I'll take a picture of this so you guys can see the exact settings I'm using. Um, I could turn on the G2, uh, the aggression mode, or I should say the drive mode is off. The gain is almost off, but the volume is up a bit. So uh, check it out. make adjustments like I think it's adding a little too much low end. So now I'm getting a little bit of a push. There's a little bit more uh, mid presence there, but it's it's more of just a push box. It's not adding like a ton of uh, extra clipping uh, to the signal. So, you know, and even with it on, I can still make adjustments on the guitar. Turn the volume down a little. examples of you know getting you know your sound so let me know what you guys do in the comments how you dial your sounds and if there's situations where you've been in where you had to use an amp and a guitar you weren't familiar with and and just as quickly as possible get a sound dialed up let me know uh you know what you uh, ended up doing and as always i really appreciate you guys uh tuning in and uh, we will see you next time